I'll never get to see him. This is so unfair. It's entirely your fault. You can see him anytime. Just let me know first. But we can't go on like this. You and me living under the same roof is hellish. Can I see him on the weekend? Of course. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is amazing. I can get somewhere close by and Mason come to me and I get my own dog walker. If you do that, of course, of course you can stay with him and maybe I should visit him on weekends. Oh, okay. I just don't want to get it more complicated. We're gonna kill each other. Always, always have to go to the extreme. So it's been a problem you need to get sorted. I'll never get sorted according to your standards. There's always something else. You just can't help yourself. How will I know that you take care of this dog properly? Get the medication, food, vet bills, water. I know how to look after my dog. Excuse me, whose dog are you talking about? At least, he would get enough with me. And you, you barely can move your backside off the couch to walk him once a day. You know I have tried with him. He's not interested, it's not my fault. You can change, David. It's your fucking behavior. You could get it fixed if it really mattered to you. You'd have to if he lived with you. I will then. Good. That's what I'm talking about. I think we're sorted. I'm going to sleep. Just need a distant sleep. You're still talking here. Why are you always walking away before anything gets resolved? If whatever gets resolved, whatever gets resolved, baby. <laughs> Listen, I have a terrible shift. I just can't keep these conversations anymore. This is literally wearing me down. I have every right to go in that bedroom, same as you. Oh, if you rather go into sleep in the office, I don't fucking care. Just go ahead. Fine. 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 Fine.